Printify has a new feature when you create a product listing to let them select a print provider for your orders based on the best possible production and delivery times. And this is a new and different feature than their automatic order routing. So with this new feature, is Printify now like Gelato? Well, not really, so let's talk about it. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look at the Printify Choice Program, which is a new way of creating your listings on Printify. And I do wanna point out one thing before we dive in. So this is something you can only use for new listings, and they specify that on this help page. I will put a link to this page down in the description. So here's that note right here. Please note that Printify Choice can only be used to create new products. So this is not something you can go back and apply to your existing listings, at least not at this time. This is a brand new feature, so I don't know if they're gonna bring that capability later on, but for now, you can only do this on new listings that you create. And I also wanna point out another note at the bottom of this page right now, Printify Choice is compatible with a couple of other features like branded inserts and Printify Connect, but it is not compatible with Printify Express Delivery or their regular order routing system. So if you use Printify Choice when you create a new listing, which we'll go through in just a second, then order routing won't apply. So if you have order routing turned on for your store, but then you create listings using Printify Choice, order routing is not gonna apply to those listings. So what is Printify Choice? Well, it has something in common with Gelato. That's why we're looking at the Gelato website here. If you're not familiar with Gelato, it is another print-on-demand platform that uh, gets your orders fulfilled through a network of print providers. So Gelato actually has over 130 print providers in 32 countries around the globe. So when you get an order from anywhere in the world and it comes through Gelato, they will automatically send that order to production with a print provider that has the best possible location relative to your customer. There is just one product listing in the catalog, one price that you pay, doesn't matter who actually prints the product for you, and all of this just happens automatically. So this new Printify Choice feature is taking a step in that direction. If you have a Printify account and you're a Printify seller already, then you know on Printify you have to manually select who your print provider is when you create your new product listings. You pick a specific print provider, then your orders are automatically fulfilled by that one that you selected. It is up to you to decide which print providers you actually want to have fulfill your products. It is not a fully automated platform like Gelato. It's also important to point out that at least right now, this is October of 2023, and this is a brand new feature. This is an optional feature. You don't have to use Printify Choice. They're not shifting the whole platform over to be just like Gelato, at least not yet. And uh, so you can still go ahead and create your product listings the same way you always have by selecting a specific print provider. But if you don't want to do that, if you'd rather put more of that work into Printify's hands and let them just automatically route your orders, now you have a way to do that. I also wanna make sure I point out this is currently available for the US print provider network, but it does support international shipping. So you can have orders that come from international locations shipped to those locations if you created a listing using Printify Choice. However, the main network where this kind of feature exists right now, it is the US print provider network. But all right, let's take a look at what this actually entails when you create a product. We're gonna to go to the Printify catalog here. We're gonna to go to the t-shirt section here and my target market is the US and that filter there is actually what helps to, uh, to tell Printify which area I'm trying to sell in. And so I'm going to select the Bella Canvas 3001 t-shirt and now you will see Printify choice here at the top of the page with the start designing button. There's no more automatic display of all print providers on this page. Like normally when we scroll down, you can see the big list of all print providers. Now, if you want that, you have to click on show additional print providers and that will expand the list so that you can go ahead and select one individually if you still want to create your products that way. But if we wanna use Printify Choice, then we click on start designing at the top of the list here. I just wanna point out the price you see here of 848, this is the Printify Premium price because I do have Printify Premium on my account. So this price would be slightly different if you don't have Printify Premium, but the shipping cost is gonna be the same for everybody. So if we click on start designing here, this is going to be exactly the same as creating any other product from this point forward. 
So if I just go ahead and finish creating a t-shirt here, I'm not going to add different variants. We'll just add one variant here just so we could see what it looks like. Now the listing editor section here before we publish is exactly the same. Of course, when we're doing shipping, just a reminder, I never recommend assigning a new shipping profile to every listing that you create. I always recommend selecting one of your existing profiles that you've selected for a specific category of products so you don't have a million different shipping profiles on Etsy. And notice when we get down to the price section, I wanna point out that under production cost, there is only one price showing here, which might seem odd at first because remember this particular product, when we get orders, could be routed to several different print providers. And actually, if you click on the little question mark over production cost currently, until this gets fixed anyway, it actually says final cost depends on the price set by the provider closest to your customer's location. Well, I actually reached out to Printify support about this because there is only one price displaying here. And the answer that I received is that for the Printify Choice program, the price will stay the same regardless of which print provider you send it to. So you don't have to worry about paying more than what the price is as far as production cost is displayed here. Of course, you wanna add in your shipping, but when you're setting your retail prices, you can go by this production cost that displays here and the shipping cost. You don't have to worry about paying more for separate print providers based on where it's routed. According to Printify support, there is only one cost. The rest of the listing process is exactly the same. You've got the same options to publish it as a hidden draft. When it comes to variant visibility, I recommend publishing it with all variants available for purchase mainly because when you're using Printify Choice, they're gonna send it to a print provider that has that item or that variant in stock no matter what. So there's really no need to publish it, showing things out of stock if they currently are with one print provider. So I would just select this first option. So assuming we were done with this, we would click publish on the bottom, it would go to our store. When we get an order, then Printify is automatically gonna send it to the print provider in this choice network that is best positioned from a proximity to the customer standpoint. So basically they're just trying to get you the best combination of price and delivery times for the customer. Now, before we wrap it up, I also just wanna point out this is not available for all products yet. So Printify Choice is not available for their entire catalog of products that are available in the United States. So for example, if we look at the mugs page of the catalog, I do have USA selected as the target market, but you can see that mugs are still all kind of just listed separately, even when they're the same product. So there is the 11 ounce mug from District Photo. There's still an 11 ounce mug listed separately from other print providers. And when we click on one of them, it is still the same old you know, you're selecting this individual print provider. So Printify Choice is not available for all products in the United States, at least not yet. I'm sure they will probably be adding additional products to it, but it is available for several popular apparel products in the United States. So here is the Gildan Heavy Blend sweatshirt, and you can do Printify Choice with that one. You can also do Printify Choice with the Heavy Blend hoodie. However, for some popular products, it's not available yet. So for example, here is the Comfort Colors Garment Dyed T-shirt. This one has become more and more popular because the unique colors and the quality of the fabric. There are a few print providers in the US that do have it, but not nearly as many as like the Bella Canvas or Gildan 5000 t-shirts. So it is not available for this one yet, but that will likely change over time. So for now, just be aware when you see this Printify choice, this is what it's all about. It's all about getting you the lowest possible price while also enabling sort of a automatic order routing for every single order type of a feature. And the last thing I wanna point out is one potential reason why you actually may want to think twice about starting to use this Printify Choice option if you are an existing seller with lots and lots of listings. Because remember, right now you cannot convert your existing product listings over to Printify Choice. You can only select this option when you create new listings. So just picture this, if you will, for a second. Let's say you've got I don't know, a, few, a couple of hundred listings in your current Etsy shop or your online store that were created using Monster Digital as the print provider. They're gonna go through the normal sort of historical order fulfillment process. But if today you start creating new listings using this Printify Choice option, then every single order that comes in for that new listing will automatically go to any print provider that is part of this Printify Choice network. And that might not always be Monster Digital for every order. So let's say you have a customer that orders two of your products or three or four of your products. And some of them are the older listings that go to Monster Digital. And some of them are the newer listings that you've selected Printify Choice. That means within an individual order, you might have some products fulfilled by Monster Digital and other products fulfilled by someone else creating separate shipments 
and probably charging you shipping more than once. So that just starts to create kind of a mess that I personally would like to avoid. That's really the only reason why right now I think I would not use Printify Choice. Otherwise, it seems like a perfectly good option for anybody who's newer to creating their listings. If you don't have a ton of listings that would be affected like that, then this seems like a very nice option. And of course, at some point in the future, if they give us the option to convert our existing listings to Printify Choice, then that would change my opinion there. It would change that scenario and that would no longer be an issue. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Let me know if you're gonna start using this Printify Choice option when it's available or if not. Thanks everybody. See you next time.